All righty. Happy Monday, you guys. Uh, so good to see so many of your faces. I always appreciate when you have your cameras on so that I'm not feeling like I'm talking to like a brick wall. I get to see your faces like, like we're having an actual conversation. It's the best. Uh, so good to see you guys. I hope you had a great weekend and um, I hope you're excited. I've seen some really good guesses in the comments in the chat. So I'm just going to jump right in. You guys will see that it's our whole entire team plus Kristen Wyatt's team because we just love to forever do collaborate with her because if you know her, you know why. Um, okay, so if you were not on a, the, the May kickoff call that we did for my team, so if you're on my team and you weren't on that or if you're on Kristen's, you obviously weren't on it, but let me just kind of um, cliff notes a little bit you know, some backstory so we can kind of, you can see where this is going. So on our make kickoff call, uh, it was an amazing call. Obviously we had Jake and Claudia and Rachel and Jenna, and it was just like a powerhouse call. Um, but I shared a few things that I had like debated going back and forth sharing. Um, but a lot of you guys know that I have always just been such an open book, just in every part of like my journey. Um, throughout pretty much my whole life. Being vulnerable is something that comes pretty naturally to me. But one thing that I realized uh, the last month or two um, was that it was easy for me to be vulnerable with people after the fact, like when I had already gone through something and not necessarily while I was still in the thick of it. And so on that call, I opened up a little bit and just shared how, um, you know, my, my third daughter Capri, she's almost eight months old and this third baby, man, it has thrown me for a dang loop. Um, a lot of unexpected feelings, um, a lot of lack of sleep that has really messed with me. Um, and I, the last couple months have just been feeling a lot of emotions, um, un unwanted and unpleasant ones. Uh, a lot of confusing feelings that I have never felt, and it was really hard to navigate. And so I, instead of being open, I started to recluse a little bit. And then I started to think about it a lot because um, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, which I think a lot of you guys probably know. And I'm not one to really like uh, jump on bandwagons of like national donut day or sibling day or whatever. Like it's not kind of my thing, but mental health is one that I think that we all can relate to on some level. Either you've dealt with something yourself, whatever it looks like, or, you know, somebody who has, um, so as I'm going through this and dealing with this and feeling all of these things and like unwanted sadness for no reason, like I have the most beautiful blessed life. I started to take inventory on a lot of things. And uh, I followed this one Instagram account that I'll share with you guys. I bet you a lot of you guys follow him actually. And there's a lot of things that were posted that were really resonating with me. And um, you probably heard the term like movement is medicine, right? Um, I started to take inventory on myself of like, you know, maybe just being a, a bump on a log on the couch, not feeling motivated to do anything. But you know, those are the days that like you need to move. Those are the days that you need to get outside as hard as it might feel to do, like you have to get up and do it and you won't regret it. So I started to, to take, like I said, take inventory of how I was feeling. And then I would go push myself to go do a workout, no matter what that looked like. It maybe had, but it was a walk. Maybe it was a good sweaty run. Maybe I was lifting some weights, whatever it was. Like I didn't feel like doing it, but I would push myself to do it. And afterwards, you guys, I felt like a whole new person. Like if you have ever been a runner, you know, that runner's high I'm talking about. It just puts you on cloud nine. It's those endorphins. Right. And so I was like, whoa, before this, I was feeling a certain type of way that was not good. <laughs> and after I went and pushed myself to do something, anything, I felt so different and then I was like, wow, like movement really is medicine. Like it almost felt like an antidepressant in my body. Um, what it did for me mentally, what it did for my confidence, like all of those things, like having those small wins. And then uh, from there, I started to like in the morning, I'm always so tired in the morning because Capri does not let me sleep. 
And I would take my coffee with my brew in it. And I started to go sit on the porch. We have this really cool screened in porch with like the beautiful Tennessee rolling hills. It's so pretty here. Um, and I have, I, I, in the last year, I got a couch out there so I could enjoy it. And I started to have my coffee outside and I just put Capri in a little chair and we just sat outside and I could like feel the sunshine on my face and I could get some fresh air and I could hear the birds chirping and those little things, you guys, have you seen that one Instagram post that's kind of circulating around where it's like, you have to romanticize your life. You have to just like think that that sip of coffee is the best sip you've ever had. And that sun hitting your face is like the best feeling you've ever felt. I don't know if this sounds corny or cheesy to you at all, but it's these little things that have really helped me lately. Um, it's, it's not door dashing as much and actually eating good food. <laughs> um, so all of these things have started to play a role in how I have been feeling and how I have been climbing my way out of those feelings. And um, when Sarah Spencer was here uh, for the Mother's Day event, her and I had some really good conversations about this. Um, you know, she's a mom of four and she's obviously dealt with it all. And she's like, you know what, as moms, and I'm not, I don't know if all of you are moms, I'm sure a lot of you are, but as moms, we tend to, have really, really busy days, right? And a lot of times, and because we don't plan, we let the day run us instead of us running the day, right? And she's like, you know, at the end of the day, it's so easy to focus on what you didn't do, on what you didn't get done and going to bed feeling like a failure and then getting into this slump all over again. Instead, we need to take control of the day. We need to dictate what we're gonna do. And in that process, we need to have a lot of just really small wins. You guys, I don't care how small the win is, but we need to focus on having small wins and focusing on what we did do, okay? What you did do, like all of those things. And what that does is it builds trust with yourself. When you can prove to yourself that you can do something, sky's the limit. And you start to create bigger and bigger goals instead of all these little ones, which are fine for the moment because you trust yourself. So um, on Q News, I don't know, it was a couple of weeks ago, Kimball was on there and he was kind of just like talking about how great all of the challenges were going with all of these teams. And uh, he had mentioned that there, no teams had one planned for June. And I was like, huh. And I was thinking about what I had been doing and how I've been feeling. And the fact that our team has never done our own challenge. And I was like, this is so perfect. You guys going into summer. And if you guys have kids that are in school, now your kids are going to be home. So now you're gonna have to come up with a whole new routine, a whole new set of wins throughout the day. And I just thought that this is going to be really, really good for us to have some small wins to be really proud of ourselves. And so this we actually took the word challenge out of it because I didn't want this to be like anything else. This isn't a weight loss challenge. This isn't, oh, I don't even know. This isn't like a challenge. This is just about creating a series of small wins for you to feel proud of yourself and to feel good about yourself and to make sure that mentally we are all in a really, really good place um, going into this next season, because we have summer and then we have all of these new Q home products that are launching. We have Canadian convention. We have our convention here in the U S there is just so much going on that we have to make sure that our minds are right. We have to make sure that we are in a good place for ourselves, for our spouses, for our kids, for our team, for the people that trust us, the people that are going to trust us and partner with us. There is just so much ahead that I think it's really, really smart not necessarily to slow down, but to just be really mindful and really intentional about where we're at mentally and making sure that we're not running ourselves into the ground, that we are being smart <laughs> with uh, our time and what we choose to spend our time on and thinking about. So this is called movement is medicine. And that's all that this is about. Okay. So I'm going to pass this to Kristen and uh, you guys, all of your rubies are on board. We're all excited. It's going to be huge. This is just for our teams, but if you think about it, it's actually a, a huge chunk of people. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be really fun. 
And this is also open to obviously your whole team and to customers because we want our, our current customers and potential customers to really get a feel for who we are and get a feel for what we're about and experience this. So Kristen's going to hit you guys with the deets. Yay. Oh my gosh. Okay. It was so perfect. Literally. I'm like looking down at the number and it rolled over 500 just in time for me to start talking. <laughs> so thank God. Cause I wasn't going to talk if it didn't hit 500 and that would have been really awkward for everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Hi guys. I'm so freaking pumped about this. I'm really grateful for Brittany just being so vulnerable and sharing that. I don't know about you guys, but do all of you, does some of you guys kind of sometimes put we all do it, especially with social media, but I think sometimes in network marketing, even more so we can put people on a pedestal or assume it's different for them because of this, or maybe it would be easier for me if X, Y, Z or whatever. And really at the end of the day, we're all just freaking human doing our best. We don't know what we don't know. We get stuck. We're all, whether it's in relationships with our kids, with our love for ourselves, with that trust, that self-trust. Sometimes we trust everyone else in our life more than we trust ourselves because really all trusting yourself is, is that, you know, when you say you're going to do something, you're actually going to do it. Think about how powerful that thought is just for a second. What if every time you committed to anything, like if I say and commit to someone else that I'm going to do it every time I follow through, like think about how powerful that is, Right. And so sometimes we have to like build trust back. I know this is such a silly analogy, but um, I always think about like when I came into my relationship with Dwayne, I had been in a series of really awful relationships. And they always say like, sometimes you go through these experiences, we carry this trauma, we carry this you know, stuff that we're affected by, and then we bring it into our next relationships, right? And it's almost like they're being put to the test and then slowly but surely they prove to you that it is different and that you are lovable and all the things and you start to kind of develop this trust. And sometimes that's how it is with ourselves. Sometimes we've been the biggest bully we've ever had in our lives to the mirror. Sometimes we've treated ourselves worse than we've ever treated anyone because of the crazy expectations we have for ourselves as parents, as friends, as what our bodies should look like, how our personalities should be, how we should be in network marketing. I mean, you freaking name it, our faith, what God thinks about us, like whatever, right? And so we beat ourselves down and down and down and down and down. And this is like, this medicine for you guys is going to be a rekindling of the flame within us, rebuilding trust with ourselves, repairing past trauma and feelings of self-hatred or self-critical or hyper-focused negative thoughts about us. And we're just going to flip the switch because at the end of the day, sometimes you just got to break up and go find the good guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let's just like break up with that former self and step into this. And this medicine is going to be how we do it. So what's really cool about this uh, little, like almost, a, well, it is a movement. <laughs> this is going to be a movement because this will ripple effect into every area of your life, but it also just fits within the name that movement is medicine. And this is going to be a simple, simple kind of routine within your QFIT app. And I'm going to go through all the details super quick, and then we'll post to the team pages and all of that right after. So you guys kind of know what to expect. Okay. So when you partner with QFIT, what's really great is that you get special exclusive access to things. And this I'm freaking pumped about because I don't know how many of you guys really know Stacey Jensen, Kimball's wife, but she is one of the most incredible women I've ever met in my life. And partially what so inspired me about her is what she experienced becoming a mom for the first time, really her pregnancy, how difficult it was, what her body went through, and then overcoming some of these huge hills she had to climb, building trust with herself again in her fitness journey and finding that love again. And um, she has a very, very special tailored program within the QFIT app that she's been working on, honestly, for years. That's her way, her love and the way she coaches through the program is unlike anything I've ever seen. So I'm going to just read through this, but this is again, like she said about building trust with yourself. So it's about having small wins. Cause sometimes if you just say, no matter what I'm having, 
chicken and salad for dinner tonight because that's what I planned and that's what I cooked and no matter what I'm going to cook it when you cook it you make it and it could be spaghetti mashed potatoes like I'm not trying to you know <laughs> no uh, prejudice towards any sort of meal here but I just mean like this is my plan I'm going to save money to use my groceries I'm not going to let it be wasted and then you make the meal and you eat it even if you're not like oh my god I'm so proud of myself maybe you're still kind of hard on yourself about what you could have done better throughout that day but subconsciously you've just gotten a point like check she said she'd do it. She did it. Ooh, interesting. I wonder what else she'd say that she could do that we could try again. It's like this internal thing. And when our cup is filled, when we have the sunshine on our face can show up in that positive state, especially with movement, um, you can be your best, especially for your family over the summertime to make it fun, right? And relaxed and enjoyable. So basically you're going to purchase products that support your body and mind. You automatically will get free access to the MyQFit app. We as ambassadors already have this, but this is for your customers as well. Plus we will get to be the very first ambassadors in all of Q Sciences to gain access to the Stacey Jensen brand new cycling program, RPM. You guys, she was in the studio looking hot as hell, <laughs> all up on her bike. And you could hear from the other office, her affirming the people, talking them through it, like preaching to the camera. And I was like getting chills listening to her just recording these sessions. Like, I don't care if you're going to be riding a, a little tiny bike, pushing your preschooler in the cart behind you down the road while you're listening to this, whatever it's going to look like, trust me, it's going to be medicine. Okay. So here's what you are going to expect, what it's going to consist of. Okay. We're going to focus on tracking daily the following habits. And it's not about, oh, I failed. Like I've done 75 hard. It's like you, oh, I read seven pages instead of eight and you fail. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not like that because this is all about small little wins, but there's a compound effect for the longer streaks of time. You can, you continue to do these habits. So that's how we're going to reward you. But this is all about just daily habits from water intake to reading. Physically reading a book is powerful for your mind and how your body processes things. Um, taking your supplements. That's a huge freaking win. Sometimes you get into a hole. I've been there before where my anxiety is at an all time high. I'm feeling so low, numb, wanting to check out, not do anything. And I look at my core and I'm like, ugh, like, I don't even want to take my supplements that I know help me. Have you guys ever been there? Like I've heard of this before, but I didn't know until I was in it where I'm like, sometimes it's just a win to freaking make the brew let alone go outside and get some sunshine in your face. You're like, look at me. I made the brew because I said I would and I did it like it's a big deal, right? So we're going to have you guys journal a little bit about how you're feeling before your movement each day. You're going to complete movement, whether it's Stacy's RPM, maybe you're doing a quick little hit workout in the app or yoga or whatever, or you're just walking outside to get your mail. Like go to the mailbox, walk back, get a little sweat on, like all movement counts. Nobody's discounted for injuries or certain things that they can or cannot do, whether it's stretching, whether it's walking outside and doing a little bit of your own movement, any movement counts because movement is medicine, no matter what it is. Then you're going to journal again. You're going to journal after the sweat is pouring down. The pages will be gross, but it's fine. No one's going to read it. And we're going to journal again. And you're going to look at the difference, if anything, because sometimes our bodies, we get, you guys know this as moms, we take on so much and we feel like we're a machine and we're just like, and we just operate throughout our day that sometimes we don't even stop and be like, how does my physical body feel like, oh, who knew my shoulders actually killing me, but I'm just a machine and just ignore it and keep going. But really my shoulders killing me. Okay. Let me take some of this product. Okay. Now, how does it feel like self-awareness is a big step in this kind of medicine process. So we're going to journal after we're going to talk about how our bodies feel and how we feel mentally and how we're proud of ourselves. Most importantly, what we're proud of ourselves for completing so far that day. And then last but not least, you got to get outside. Yes, we want the sunshine and the vitamin D, but I want you guys to go outside even if it's raining. I know that sounds crazy. It's so 75 hard style. I'm sorry. They're like, go for your walk even if it's raining. We're not going to be like that, I promise. But sometimes it's honestly just bliss. Just go outside in the freaking muddy grass and just sit out there and look up and see how the birds aren't affected by it. So why are we, what is it really doing? Is this hurting us? Like there's so much beauty outside in nature and we're going to get grounded. And then hopefully most days we're getting some vitamin D as well. 
Okay, so this is how you participate. Here's the fun part. So you have to just purchase a hundred dollars of Q Sciences products, and it has to be with this unique promo code that we will not have access to until Friday at 8 a.m. Mountain Time. Okay, these are all the products you can choose from. So take a screenshot. We're gonna post about it later, but you can all of these products are mental health, mental clarity, fitness related. D3 spray, B12 spray. Britt was telling me like, those are some of her favorites because they're so underutilized for mental health and they help so much with our mental clarity and mental health and energy levels. So any of these items count, but it's about kind of choosing from this list exclusively. When you hit that hundred dollar threshold, the promo code actually applies a discount. So everybody in our teams that uses this code literally will get this stack of products at a discount. So that's huge. The promo code will go live this Friday, May 26th. You'll have till the end of the month, um, month end 31st at midnight mountain time to get in. Will there be prizes and incentives? Duh. Have we met? <laughs> um, yes, there will be. But you know what I love that Britt said when she was telling me about this challenge, she was like, screw this. I don't want to do like a huge cash prize for one person. I want to find a way to give a ton of prizes to a ton of people. Like, do you ever feel like that? Like, okay, there's 503 people on here. What are my chances of winning? In this case, they're pretty high <laughs> because her and all of the other rubies that are doing uh, rubies and higher that are doing this together, we're all contributing prizes whether it's something small and fun or whatever, we're going to give you guys prizes for little streaks of consistency. Maybe it's three days in a row that you've built trust with yourself. Maybe it's a week. Maybe you completed the whole freaking month. It doesn't matter all the time, all the while, the whole challenge, we're going to be giving prizes to just keep you going, make it fun. I know some of y'all are like, if I get a cute tumbler, I'm, I'm in, I'm going to do another week now. Cause I got this tumbler. Like that's how I am. Especially if it's like glass and like, whatever, just putting some ideas out there anyways, moving on. Um, okay. So in addition to that, we're going to have a Facebook group. So of course we'll be in the app. We'll have a chat in there, all that fun stuff, but there will be a Facebook group exclusive just to challenge participants. And all of the leaders that are hosting this are going to go live throughout the month. Remember, this isn't just for ambassadors. This is for your customers too. So we're not talking Q Sciences business and prospecting. We're going to talk about the other stuff, the other stuff that actually teeters our business up and down based on where we're at in those things. Yes, the five Fs, but really peeling back the layers from boundaries to time blocking, setting schedules, organizing yourself, self-care and what that really means. Um, people will be sharing very vulnerably and in inspirationally some stories of things they've overcome in their marriages and their lives and um, how to even avoid overwhelm in business, in life, in your relationships, and so, so, so much more. So stay tuned for that. So Keep in mind, like Britt said, this is a team exclusive challenge. You must fall under Brittany Hitch's lineage or under my team lineage. Is that how you say it? Lineage, lineage, lineage. Okay, we're just, anyways, um, you got to fall under our downlines because this is exclusive to these teams, which is so cool that Q allows us to do like exclusive challenges with Kimball and Stacy to kind of create what we have dreamt up in our minds and what Britt has thought up. So, um, um, it's for customers, ambassadors, anyone can participate. And uh, we're excited about this. Look at this freaking stacked list. If you guys didn't already realize, yes, obviously Brittany Hitch, but the Jennifer and Tumor, you have to say freaking because that's her middle name, but we try not to tell everybody that only the cool people. Um, and Claudia Gonzalez, myself, Kim Williamson, Jamie Howell. I heard they're in a house right now having a party without me rude, but it's fine. Um, Rachel freaking Jones. We can add a freaking there too. And the Josie Waller. So you guys know these people you've watched them, but just know after this challenge, I can promise you, you're going to realize they're just normal people with regular struggles, with regular things that we go through. And I'm committed to this. I know every single person on this list is as well, because I've got areas I need to rebuild trust with myself as well. So thank you guys so much for letting me hop on. Is there anything else, Britt, that you want to throw in before we wrap up? No, that's it. I hope you guys are excited. Um, I'm really excited since we've never done this before. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be the best way to kick off summer and to just make sure that we're all in a really good place. So thank you, Kristen. Like you, like she said, you guys, we're going to post everything in our team pages. So it'll be there. We're coming up with some um, Instagram story slides for you guys all to use as well. We're going to have all the content for you. We'll keep you completely updated, I promise, as we go. And like she said, everything goes live on Friday. All righty.
Be good. Your alarms. Bye guys. Thanks everyone. Good night.